I want to kind of set the, the stage for why critical youth work is important now. All right, I'm going to just say I'm going to keep it 100. I mean, not like I didn't start that way. Some of y'all going to be mad. I would say I'm sorry, but those, <laughs> those words don't, yeah, sorry, yeah, Beyonce, sorry, not sorry, yeah. Um, I think it's important for us to have these conversations. I, I really do. Um, and I think that, you know, maybe your perspective is not my perspective, vice versa, but we need to listen. And I was hearing a scholar talk about that idea that when we are uncomfortable, sitting in that discomfort is where we grow and where we learn. Hearing from folks stuff that mm, doesn't feel right, I don't like it, I don't agree, I might be a little mad. That's what we need to push ourselves forward, right? Because my experience is not the only experience, your experience is not the only experience, right? We are all coming from different perspectives, we're all seeing things differently. Folks are, are when we enter a room, folks are talking to, speaking to us or addressing us differently, right? And all of that means that we all have something unique to offer to the table. So while y'all might be mad, I'm going to keep doing my work, and I hope that you leave with something that is meaningful and important and that causes you to consider, all right, alternative perspectives. But no matter where you are on the political spectrum, you have to understand or reckon with the idea that our young people are having to navigate a space that is problematic. And so we are either going to be folks that support them or we're going to be folks that just kind of like what happened to us, like, well, figure it out. Which one is it going to be? Right, because I don't think, I think this is a hard thing to say, but I'll say it, I don't think that you should be engaged in youth work if you're not willing to take a good look at these issues. All right, our young people shouldn't be set up to make the same mistakes that we've been making. Right, if we were doing it right, I wouldn't be here today. We wouldn't be having this conversation. So obviously, you know, like my grandmother used to say, you know, what's the definition of insanity, right? The definition of crazy. You keep on doing the same thing, expecting a different result. Adults are crazy. <laughs> By that definition. Right? So at some point in time, we have to kind of step outside of ourselves and figure out how we're going to support our young people in figuring this out. And in this situation, in this current climate that we're in, we need to examine that and, 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 look, and list, look at it, right? And really unpack it so that we can help our young people be better. 